Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel I Love Pharmacology and today's session you are going to learn about the pharmacology of pyrazinamide. So let us see the learning objectives. At the end of this session, you should be able to answer the mechanism of action, clinical users, route of administration, pharmacokinetic property and side effects as well as the contraindications of pyrazinamide. So let us move on to the mechanism of action of pyrazinamide. Pyrazinamide has got similar mechanism to that of the isoniacid. So they are bactericidal in nature. This pyrazinamide is very active in the acidic medium. So in the acidic medium, the pyrazinamide gets converted into the active metabolite called as pyrazinoic acid and it is responsible for disruption of the mycobacterial cell membrane metabolism as well as the transport functions. Please remember that for the conversion of pyrazinamide to pyrazinoic acid, we require mycobacterial pyrazinamidase enzyme. And also a very important thing you should remember with respect to pyrazinamide is it is more active in the acidic medium and it is more lethal towards the intracellularly located tubercular bacilli. And also it has got good activity against an inflammatory sites, probably because of the presence of acidic medium. And also this pyrazinamide will be taken up by the macrophages and within the macrophages where uh, there will be a, a mycobacterium will be located, this pyrazinamide will exert activity against the mycobacteria which are residing within the acidic environment of the lysosomes where it gets converted into the active metabolite that is pyrazinoic acid with the help of mycobacterial pyrazinamidase. And the metabolite get accumulated in the acidic medium which is responsible for inhibition of mycolic acid synthesis. And also remember that, but the mycolic acid synthesis inhibition is by interacting with the different fatty acid synthase than that of the isony acid. So remember, both isony acid and pyrazinamide has got similar mechanism where it goes, where it will inhibit the mycolic acid synthesis. So coming to the clinical users, basically they are used in the treatment of uh, my, uh, mycobacterial tuberculosis infection and it is always used in combination with the other first line antituberculous drugs like isoniazid, rifampicin, ethambutol and streptomycin. Also do not forget to write that azeramide are also useful in the treatment of meningeal tuberculosis. So coming to the route of administration and pharmacokinetic property of pyrazinamide, so they are administered orally and they have got good absorbing capacity from the gut and also it has got good penetrating capability into the CSF and it also easily crosses the blood brain barrier in case of tuberculous meningitis. So it can be used in the treatment of tuberculous meningitis and since uh, the meninges are inflamed, pyrazinamide can easily cross the blood brain barrier so therefore it can be used uh, very effectively in the treatment of tubercular meningitis. And also remember that it gets excreted through the urine through glomerular filtration. So coming to the side effects of pyrazinamide. So side effects of pyrazinamide are it can cause dose related hepatotoxicity and you should be very careful in case of patient who are with impaired renal function which can lead to accumulation of pyrazinamide and therefore in turn it can lead to increased hepatotoxicity risk. And also it can lead to hyperuricemia due to the inhibition of uric acid secretion by the kidney tubules leading to the risk of gout. So here you may be thinking what is the concept behind uh, pyrazinamide causing hyperuricemia. The reason being if you could remember the pharmacokinetic property of pyrazinamide. So pyrazinamide was excreted through the glomerular filtration. So both the pyrazinamide and uric acid will compete for compete for getting excreted through the glomerular filtration and, and the pyrazinamide will wins over it and it gets excreted whereas the uric acid will be left behind. So thereby there will be increase in the uric acid concentration which can precipitate the gout. So apart from that it can also cause uh, uh, other uh, side effects like abdominal distress, arthralgia, flu-like symptoms, flushing, rashes, fever. And also you should be very careful in case of diabetic individuals because it can lead to increase in blood glucose level. So it can cause loss of diabetic control occasionally. So 
that's why you need to have a repeated blood glucose monitoring in case of diabetic individuals who are on pyrazinamide. So coming to the contraindications, as you know that pyrazinamide causes dose-related hepatotoxicity. Uh, this drug uh, uh, is contraindicated in pre patient with pre-existing liver diseases. And also, you should remember that now it is pyrazinamide is considered to be as a safe drug during pregnancy. So coming to the summary of the pyrazinamide, so mechanism of action, it is very active in the acidic medium as well as they are lethal against the intracellularly located bacilli and the active metabolite that is pyrazinoic acid helps in the disruption of mycobacterial cell membrane metabolism as well as the transport functions and also it inhibits the mycolic acid synthesis. And it is used clinically in the treatment of tuberculosis especially in also in case of tubercular meningitis. And coming to the route of administration, it is administered through oral route and the side effects are dose related hepatotoxicity and hyperuricemia and they are contraindicated in case of pre-existing liver diseases as it can increase the risk of hepatotoxicity. So this was all about the pyrazinamide pharmacology. If you find this video useful, please do subscribe to my channel I Love Pharmacology and do not forget to share and hit the like button and bell icon for more updates. Thank you.